Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Mack. I'm one of the residents here at the University of Calgary, here to explain to you Cataract B Stop and Chop, Faco Divide and Conquer Level 8, Sculpt and Crack into Two Halves. This level is actually quite challenging, not because of the uh, cracking part, but actually because of the sculpting part. You see, the machine will deduct a lot of points from you if you don't use a very limited amount of uh, ultrasonic energy. And in addition, the lens is quite soft, so it's actually quite hard to propagate a crack completely. So my tips for this one here is just to dig a very small trench, kind of what I did at the start of this video, and we'll look at it one more time, and then propagate the crack. This may take a little bit more manipulation in terms of rotating the lens and then trying to crack it again, but actually this is the best way to score 100 on this particular level. So let's take a look at this one more time. Enter into the eye, remember continuous irrigation. Just dig your phaco tip a little bit. You see I'm actually underneath the lens surface and then I go and start to make a little bit more of an opening. Afterwards, I rotate the lens and see how soft and pliable it is, but you want your instruments deep inside that trench you just created and then pull, and then you've created your um, crack. So you need to finish the, the crack or propagate the crack. And just use your phaco tip to slowly move the uh, material around, dig your instruments deep into the trench, and then pull, and then you've created a crack. So I scored 100 in both attempts. Here's an example of what you really shouldn't do. So if you use too much ultrasonic energy, you actually will get a much lower score. So I've, I've experimented with this before, and if you create a trench in the regular fashion like you see in some of the YouTube videos, the machine thinks that you're leaking ultrasonic energy and will only give you like a 70 or a 60. So you want to be able to actually just um, use um, as minimal ultrasonic energy as possible to create a trench that's deep enough that you can propagate your crack. So here I've, I'm digging and using way too much ultrasonic energy, at least according to the machine, but then I'm able to propagate the crack. And here I demonstrate that if you pull too far, you're actually going to create a posterior capsular rupture. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.